Hello, my friends. It's Nick, the ASMR nerd, and today I'm very excited for a couple of different reasons. The first is that we finally get to play new Pokemon Snap. This game has been a long time in coming. It is a sequel to the original Pokemon Snap, which is a game about taking pictures of Pokemon in their natural environments, and it released for the N64 way back in the late 90s, and now, 23 years later, we're finally getting a sequel on the Nintendo Switch, and it looks delightful and charming, and I'm really excited to check it out, so we're going to be doing that here today. But I'm also very excited about the giveaway that I am running on today's video in partnership with this video's sponsor, Into the AM. I'm going to tell you all about how to enter that giveaway and win one of three gift cards for Into the AM, so listen up. So Into the AM, uh, they are sellers of elevated everyday apparel, which is to say they sell all kinds of awesome stuff, including these eye-catching graphic tees uh, that are awesome to look at, comfortable to wear, easy to care for. Uh, they sent over some more fun designs for me to check out and show you guys. Um, and one of my favorites is, is this one that I'm wearing right here, the Eternal Staircase tee. They also sent over a couple of other fun, spacey kind of designs, lots of astronauts in their designs. I, I like that. Lots of cosmic scenes. And then another one that uh, is really unique and one of my favorites, actually. It's called Last Stand, and it's got major 300 vibes. It's like, this is Sparta. Um, and I think it's really fun. So you can find these designs and many more on their website through the link down in the video description and pinned in the top comment there. Uh, and you can check out their entire range of awesome graphic tees and other stuff. Um, and I'd love to hear from you which t-shirts or products you will pick up if you win a gift card in today's giveaway. If you would like to enter today's giveaway, the way to do that is to go down again to the video description or to the top comment, click on the giveaway link, which will be very clearly labeled. All you got to do is enter your name and your email so that I can contact you if you win. That's all you have to do. But if you would like to earn extra entries, that will give you the opportunity to increase your chances of winning. There's a lot of ways you can do that there as well. That's all described in the giveaway. Stuff like following me over on Twitch, which you might want to do anyway, because it's a great place to hang out with our community. But anyway, click through on those links, go check out the giveaway, get those entries. You have one week to enter from the time that this video is posted, so better get on it as soon as you can. And I wish you the best of luck. With that said, it's time to check out some new Pokemon Snap. Take some pictures of those mods. So without further ado, let's check that out. And here we are in the game. Uh, I've played a little bit of it so far. Uh, I basically just did the, the tutorial stuff and uh, the first mission once, the first level. Uh, so I have a very basic idea of what I'm doing here, but uh, certainly no photo snapping pro just yet. Um, ooh, Vavilion flying by there. A couple of them. Pretty. Um, this game is very, very idyllic. Like, it, it, uh, it's all about, like, studying the ecology of the Pokemon and living in harmony with Pokemon nature and all that stuff. I dig it. I think it's quite relaxing and, and really chill. Okay, so, uh, I gather that the first thing we want to do here is carry on with our, our research. So, let's see what we've got. Alright, so these are the two 
characters that I've met so far. Professor Mirror on the left, and I forget the girl's name on the right. I think it starts with a J. I'm sure it'll pop up in a second, but uh, Professor Mirror is the professor for this game. You know, every every good Pokemon game has a professor, right? So Professor Mirror says, Are you headed out on another expedition already? Before you go, let me tell you one more thing you can do with your research camera. So the research camera is this thing that you see right here. It is the, the device with which we are snapping these Pokemon. You can run a scan. That'll give you details about your surroundings. Okay. It tells you about nearby Pokemon and points out anything unusual. That's cool. That no, starts with an R. It was Rita. I was wrong. I don't know. For some reason, I thought her name was Jade or something. Uh, Rita says, A professor, what counts as unusual? You've never given me a solid answer. No. Well, basically, anything that makes the system go, check this out. Yeah. Well, I guess that's all the detail we're going to get. You'll get the hang of it once you try it. Rita, would you mind demonstrating? Yeah. Leave it to me, Professor. All right, let's get that camera ready. Okay, I think we might get another little tutorial thing here. Okay. Well, you guys get to sit, sit through another tutorial with me. All you gotta do is press the X button. The X button, okay. Try it out. All right. Uh, yeah, Pikachu. I've heard of it before. I suppose I did, yeah. Alright. Okay, so there's interactables, it looks like, in the environment. Uh, yeah. So this thing that we just scanned is our little pod. It's called the Neo One, and it basically is the the vehicle that we traverse the levels with. Um, and uh, in this game, you don't choose where you walk. You are basically on rails. It's kind of like a a rail shooter, except you're not. Shoot well, you are shooting the Pokemon with a camera. Um, and uh, you know you're trying to capture what you can as you cruise by. Oh, yeah. Well, pretty easy, right? <laughs> sure, yeah. And this icon pops up at the bottom of your screen. There's nearby to check out. Which icon is that? Ah, okay. Good to know. When you see that, try running a scan and taking a careful look around. Okay, sure thing, Rita. Oh, right. I almost forgot. What did you almost forget? So they might behave differently if we scan. Interesting. Okay, that's cool. So it's also a mechanic for getting better pictures of Pokemon. <laughs> sure. Alright. Hopefully we can get out on another trip now. Hey, Professor. Explanations all done. Thanks, Rita. Don't hesitate to run a scan. It'll tell you a lot about your surroundings. Okay. <laughs> okay. And it dumps us back at the menu. That's funny, because I... You'd think it would then carry on to what I had selected before, but no. I think visiting the lab lets us look at previous pictures we've taken. But uh, honestly, I've not taken any good pictures yet. They're all kind of garbage, so... Um, let's 
let's just carry on with the research. All right, try taking lots of photos of Pokemon at the nature park during the day. So this game has a day-night cycle, and at nighttime, uh, you might see different Pokemon or different Pokemon behaviors. So that's kind of fun. In this lush green park, see Pokemon up close in their natural habitat. This is Florio Nature Park, and this is the first level, the, the one that I've played already. The region, as you can see in the top left there, is called Lentol. Lentol. And um, I think this is entirely new to the Pokemon franchise. I don't think we've seen this region before. Um, so let's head back to Florio Nature Park. Now, another feature of this game, as I understand it, is that the more times you play a level through, you level up basically on it with research XP. And uh, the higher your research XP level, the more interesting Pokemon and interesting behaviors you will see. So maybe we'll see some new stuff this time that I didn't see the first time around. Okay. Florio Nature Park is open to the public, so most of the Pokemon there are used to being around people. And this shows our route through the area. This course runs along a large lake and through a field of colorful flowers. Pokemon are a regular sight here, which makes it the ideal location for young, up-and-coming photographers. That's me. I'm a young, up-and-coming photographer, you guys. You can see our research level there. We haven't quite reached level two. We're on level one right now, so. Okay. Let's go. A region that has many islands and its own unique culture. The island's environments, that's all we get to know. <laughs> that's all we get to know. Okay. So, okay, so here we are. So we've got these beautiful pavilions. Oh, that was a not a good picture. Well, that wasn't even a picture. Oh, look at this little Pichu down here. Get a picture of its cute little butt. There's our Dodrio. Not a very good picture, but that's okay. One thing that's kind of fun is this game uses sound cues to alert you to different Pokemon that are around and doing things nearby. Oh. That might be a good shot there. Oh, there's Bouffalant in the distance. I don't think I have a picture of one of those yet. They're not doing anything very interesting, but... Oh, that's a big pavilion. Uh, let's try... Oh, a scan. Right on cue. Oh, what's this over here? Oh, we have to hold X to scan it. Charred fruits on the ground. Did a Pokemon do this? That's a good question. Oh, something just flipped by there. Did you see that? Look at it. Oh, crap, we missed it. Whatever it was, we missed it. Okay, there's another thing to scan here, though. Oh, yeah, I saw this the first time through. I don't know what this is. A crystal bloom. I'm not sure what that does for us, but let's take a picture of it. Okay, and now I want to get a better picture of these Swana, because I did not get a good picture the last time. There, that's a pretty good one. Oh, there goes a Dodrio. These here Talos, hanging out in a gang. You have to really be keen, keen-eyed. Oh, there's a Grookey. I got a really crappy picture of the Grookey last time, but maybe we can get a better one. So this game grades you based on the quality of your photos, whether there's a P2 in the grass there too, whether they're facing you, the Pokemon are facing you, how big they are in the frame. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> I did not get a good picture of that. That Grookey's in the grass. Too bad. One of these times, look at a better picture of that P2. Okay. So there's some Bidoof running by. Oh, look, at there's one building a dam over there. Dang, we can't quite get a proper picture of it. There, that's fun. Oh, another thing to scan. 
What's that? Over here somewhere? Oh. Oh, it's a hoot hoot nest. Uh, sleeping in a tree. That's cute. Uh, oh, hello, little wormple. Facing me and everything. What a cute little boy. Or girl. I didn't see what the gender was, but... Um, one thing about this game is you really... I got a picture of this guy last time. Just like that. Um, yeah, you really do have to stay alert. And now we've got all these, uh, what the heck are these things? I forget. Comfies, that's right. Doing some fun stuff. You want to get pictures of interesting behaviors, but you also want to get, oh, tail butt. No, you don't want to get tail butt. Um, you want to get good framing of the Pokemon. Oh, get back here. Oh, they're flying off. Um, good composition of your image. You want them facing you. You want them centered. You want them large in the frame. And it kind of bothers me a little bit that they, they enforce that so strictly. Like when they're grading your images. You'll see what I mean in a second. Okay, so that was one level. They're pretty quick. I suspect that some of them are longer later on, maybe. But they're little bite-sized pieces. And, uh, you know, there's way much, way more going on than you have the capability of snapping every time. So they reward repeated playthroughs. And, um, and, yeah, like I said, as you level up, you might see more interesting things, so... Welcome back. Make any new discoveries? I dare say we did. Let's see if we found any new Pokemon there. Uh, oh, apparently we didn't. I thought, oh, the Hoot Hoot's new and the Bouffalant. Uh, let's see what we've got for Dodrio here. Uh, so I think what this is telling us uh, so maybe we have something that's better here than our previous photos. Oh no, you know what it's telling us? Currently in our... Okay. So, the way pictures are graded is interesting. The first thing they graded on is the Pokemon's behavior in the picture. So, Pokemon have four different tiers of behaviors, and those correspond to these different star ratings over here. You see, uh, one star, two star, three star and a four star. And uh, the higher star rating behaviors are rarer. They're less likely to occur, harder to capture with your camera. Uh, now, I actually, the first time through, caught a somewhat interesting Dodrio behavior. And so actually, I got a two star behavior photo. So that's indicated right over here on the left. Um, but this, now we have some one star behaviors. So and the goal is to fill out all the behaviors of the Pokemon. And then there's, uh, we can actually take a look, I think. Oh no, we can't. I thought maybe we could scan through and look at our previous two-star photo, but we can't. Anyway, and there's a bunch of other stuff that you're graded on as well, but we'll get to that in a moment. Uh, I think that's probably the best one there. Uh, for Pichu, we've already got uh, a one-star picture, but we might have a higher rating of a one-star picture here based on other factors like the size of the Pichu in the image, the centering of the image, how much it's facing us, whether it's looking at us. Now, you can see uh, on the left here, this was our previous picture, and uh, and then this is our our kind of probably best one that we just got from this run. I think it's better. I think the Pichu's bigger and it's facing us more, but its eyes are closed. I still think it's going to be a better rating though, so let's try that. Okay, we have one picture of the Bouffalant, so we'll just do that. Mm, no, our pavilion picture is no better, so we're not going to bother. Florges. Uh, I think that's probably our best one. We've got three Pokemon, or two Pokemon in the background, 
and the floor just is pretty well centered. So let's do that. Swana. Um, I think this is probably our best. It's better than our last one by a little bit. It's more centered and a larger, larger Pokemon. Sadly, I don't think we got two star behaviors on any of those. Uh, that hasn't really improved. I don't think that's worth. Uh, still the same crappy picture of Grookey, so we're not going to change that. Uh, oh, we got the Bidoof building the dam this time. Unfortunately, that's still considered just a one-star behavior, disappointingly. So I think our old picture is probably better still. It's our first time with the Hoot Hoot, and all we managed to catch was, like, its underside. <laughs> a little bit of its foot. But, uh, this is probably the better of the two. It's more centered. Uh, we got a pretty good picture of Wurmple before, but this time it's facing us, and it's looking pretty cute. I think that's maybe a better one. Comfy. Uh, apparently we don't have a picture already. I swear, I could have sworn. Oh, these are two-star photos. That's why. These ones are two-star photos of Comfy, so it must be doing something more interesting in these shots. I think that's the better of the two. Okay, I think we're ready to move on. It looks like there's a setting where you can auto-select pictures too, and the game will just pick the ones that it thinks are best, but that's kind of less fun. Let's show them to the professor, shall we? That's fine. Most of the photos from those other folders are bad anyway. Professor's evaluation. Let's see what we've got. Here's our Pichu. Seems like it's on its way somewhere. Nice going. This isn't a bad shot at all. Nice. So better in pretty much every way than our previous Pichu shot. That's good. Looks like this is like a diamond grade one star photo versus a silver grade, I'd say. So our total score is much higher. We'd like to keep the new one for our Pokedex. It's much better. Our photo decks. For the Dodrio. All right, let's see if this is any better. Oh, we didn't have a one star photo before, so this is fine. And we've also got like a, a diamond star, so that must be pretty good. Nice. Very good. Buffalant. This is not going to be very highly rated, but it is a new Pokemon, so... Okay. So, the placement is good. It's close to the center of the screen, but it's quite far away. That's why our size rating is low. And we've got a pretty low tier rating for that one. But I suspect that as we get better, uh, or we level up in this, this level, we'll have the opportunity to get better pictures of Buffalant. Um, I wonder if this is any better. It's like basically the same photo. Let's see. It is better. It's a little bit better, slightly better in every regard. We got a gold star for that one, so that's nice. Okay, we'll keep that one. And yeah, it'll be a better, a better Swana picture. It's a little bigger, a little more centered. Though it actually says the placement is worse. That's weird. I'm not quite sure why that is, but still slightly better. <laughs> and our first picture of Hutu, not a good one. But maybe next time when we go through, we'll try uh, using the scan thing on the Hutu to see if it makes it wake up and look at the camera. Nice work. Thank you. <laughs> not a very good rating. That's okay. I wouldn't expect it. I'll be curious to see if this Wurmple is better. Nice Size is better. Direction is worse, actually. Interesting. Overall, a slightly lower rating. See, I thought because it was facing like towards us, we might get a better rating, but actually it prefers the side-on view here. So we'll keep the old one. And I think this is our first two-star shot of Comfy, so 
this will by default be our best. Okay, and that's it. We've reviewed our photos. We're gonna level up to level two. Nice. Look at that. You've hit a new stage in your research. Keep an eye out for changes, no matter how small. By the way, thanks to the progress you've made in your research, I've got something to report. I'll fill you in once your photos are squared away. I think you'll be pleased to hear this. Okay, so now we have an opportunity here to save the photos we like the most to a, a separate album, I think. Um, and you can actually touch up the photos a little bit as well if you want. Uh, I'll show you that quickly. But uh, if you want to save them to a custom photo album, uh, like these Buffalant here, for example, we can resnap. And uh, the way this works is it lets you just adjust stuff a little bit. You can zoom in a little bit. That's actually quite a bit. That's not a little bit, that's a lot of bit. Um, we can increase depth of field, things like that. Um, where's our focal point? We want to get that Buffalant in focus. Seems that it's not going to be in focus no matter what. Oh, there we go. There we go. Right there. It's nice to be able to retouch photos after the fact like this. Uh, let's do a little more depth of field. There we go. I'd say that's pretty nicely in focus. You can change the caption or the filter. Let's snap a photo. There, so now we've got a nice Buffalon picture. We'll save this one. Okay. Fun. Uh, let's go back. So where's our re-snapped Buffalon? That's what I want to know. Oh, that's weird. I don't actually see it here. Maybe it saves it to somewhere else. Anyway, doesn't much matter, but uh, this is obviously after your photos have been evaluated, so I don't think this contributes to score in any way. This is just if you want to be able to like save some fun photos as like screenshots to maybe share with your friends, uh, you can do that this way. So, okay, let's return to camp. Your photography seems to be going well. Anyway. I think you're about ready for a nighttime visit to Florio Nature Park. Here's the thing. Ooh. Hopefully, you'll get to see one of Lentil's greatest wonders, a glow called the Illumina Phenomenon. You're the one who discovered how that glow happens, right, Professor? Yes, I am. But explaining the process scientifically was just one step toward my ultimate goal. Finding the special Pokemon spoken of in the legends of Lentil. You mean the Illumina Pokemon? I thought they were made up. No, they're very much real. You've seen the photos from Captain Vince's travel log, haven't you? Captain Vince was evidently a, a bold, early explorer of the Lentil region about a hundred years before the game took place. What? You can barely tell what's in those photos, and they're ancient anyway, literally a hundred years old. Right, well, we can discuss that later. Right. For now, enjoy your nighttime outing. Okay, well, shall we try a nighttime outing in Florio Nature Park? I think we should. At night, you might be able to see the Illumina phenomenon at the nature park. Observe your surroundings carefully. Okay, there we go. 
why don't we take a bunch of photos and surprise the professor with them? I mean, it's probably not that surprising. He kind of sends us out to take the photos. One would presume he expects us to take a bunch of photos, but anyway, never mind. So it looks like um, the daytime version of each level and the nighttime version have separate research uh, level tracks. And you can actually change the research level uh, if you want to capture certain behaviors, I guess. If you want to bring it back down to where it was, because now we're up at level two, we could bring it back down to level one if there was a particular behavior that we really liked there. That's nice. Let's try the nighttime version. Her curly ponytails are her signature look, apparently, for Rita. My curly beard. It's my signature look. Okay. Oh, score bunny. That wasn't a very good picture of the score bunny, but that's okay. It was a picture at least. Oh, what the heck is this? Oh, a big sleeping bouffalant. That's fun. One of those will definitely be better. The score bunny's running away. Oh my gosh, so many bouffalant butts. Have you seen any glowing Pokemon yet? Oh, I haven't. Oh, a Tangrowth, cool. Let's see, maybe as we get close, maybe we can use our scan feature. I think I heard something that sounds like a Murkrow. Okay, let's try scanning. Oh yeah, oops. There it is, guys. There's our big Tangrowth photo. Shoto? Shoto? Shoto photo? I <laughs> Our big Tangrowth shot. I was trying to say something. Oh, Murkrow's. Oh, Murkrow butts. Oh well, zoom in on the Murkrow butts. Oh, the flowers. I don't know, what happens if we use our scanner here? Oops. Just giving off a blue glow. Does that mean we might- oh, what's this? Noises are coming from that unnatural bump. Oh, what is it? It's a pincer. Ah, oh, too bad. We just got a little... A little, uh... Oh, oh, torteras. Big torteras. That's awesome. Wow, that's cool. Guys, this is actually really awesome. Oh, Pidgeotto. Oh, Pidget. Pardon me. I think that'll wake up the Torteras. It did not. That score bunny's back though. Oh, that might have been too too tight. Too tight in on that face. Oh, more Murkrows. Better Murkrow shots. Look at them. There's two of them and they're quite cute. Uh, what I was trying to say was this is really quite delightful. Oh, what's that? Grookey. Oh my gosh, look at the Pichu and the Grookey are sleeping. Oh my god, that's the cutest thing. Look at this. <laughs> this is quite delightful. I'm really enjoying this. Got a sleeping Swana. Oh, and a Ducklet. This is a really fun way to interact with Pokemon, actually, you guys. Oh, Big Pincer. Big Pincer. Oh, and Hoot Hoot over there. Much better than the first one. Oh, Combi. Combi, you guys. Nice. Okay, this is, I'm kind of nerding out here, you guys. This is actually really good. <laughs> this is really fun. Oh, what's this? No, well, I think we passed it. Too bad. Oh my gosh, this Torterra is huge. There's so many Torterra at night. Oh, more Combi. That's fun, but I think the shot we got earlier was better. There's that Crystal Bloom. I don't know what to do with it, though. A huge energy reading, you say? That was a little hectic and all over the place. 
guys, but that was exciting. This is a really neat way to see Pokemon, like doing stuff that you don't normally see them doing, like living in their environment with fun behaviors. We've got a lot to discuss, but first, let's get your photos evaluated. Okay, I think we got some good ones there. We've got some that I'm really happy with. Score Bunny. We got one picture of Score Bunny. It's not a very good one, but this is actually a two-star behavior, apparently. It was kind of running around, so I guess that's what that is. Uh, no, the Badoof picture sucks. The Bouffalant, though, one of these is going to be way better. These are all two-star behaviors because it's sleeping, I guess. I think this one, this one is our best. I like that one. Okay, we got a good picture of the Tangrowth. Look at that. I think this one's our best. It's facing us more. The Combi. Oh. Not that good, this one, I guess, but it's not very centered, that's too bad. Okay, our first Murkrow shots were just their butts. Look at that Murkrow butt. Uh, but then we got some way better ones, I think. Uh, yeah, these are some, this one's I think our best one. Cause we got two in frame, one starting to take off. Oh, I see, that's a three star behavior. Can we pick e one of each? No, we have to pick one. That's too bad. Okay, well, definitely the one where they're taking off is the best. That's fun. Okay, the pincer. We got a great shot of that pincer, I think. Not that first one, but this one. Look at that. That's excellent. Oh, that's a two-star pincer shot as well. For the Torterra, these are all one-star shots, I think. Um, oh, it's funny. Those are considered pictures of the Torterra. Not the Grookey or the Pichu, or maybe it's considered all of them. I don't know. I don't know which one of these is going to be best, honestly. That's hard to know how the game's going to evaluate it. But I like... That one's really cute. It's closely cropped on all of them. Well, let's see if... Oh, okay. Okay, one of those counted for the Pichu, and one of them counted for the Grookey, but it's not very good. That's too bad. So this one is strictly for the Torterra, it seems. That's too bad. It's based on where your little pointer, your little reticle is, I think. But, um, well then, this might actually be a better Torterra shot, this last one here, because it's facing us, filling the frame. Hard to say. It's hard to know exactly how the game's going to evaluate what you're doing. Uh, for the ducklet, I think the first one's best. And, oh, we missed a Pidget. Wait, I thought, didn't it say it was Pidgeotto? No, I guess it said it was Pidget. I got it confused. Oh no, guys, we got two distant shots, and then this one is just not quite in frame, that's too bad. But still, it's way closer, we'll go with that one. And for the Hoot Hoot, I think that's our best by far. Okay. We'll pick a Bidoof one to evaluate just in case, but it's gonna be not nearly as good as our last one. Alright. Let's do this. All right, score bunny. Yeah, a new discovery. Two stars, thank you. Not bad, two silver stars. This Bidoof is bad. Yeah, not nearly as good as our last one. That's okay. Oh, this Bouffalant's gonna be way better. Oh, we didn't even have a a two-star Bouffalant yet, so by default, that's that's our best. Oh, this one's got to be well-rated. I mean, it, it's filling the screen, it's centered. There we go. Diamond. 
Looks like if you get over 4,000, you get the diamond star. This is not going to be so good, but it is a really cute picture. It's just too bad it's not better centered and bigger in the frame. Could be worse, though. Could be worse. Oh, this one's going to be good, I think. This is a good, good Marco shot. Yes, diamond star in a three-star behavior. Awesome. Spencer. One star behavior, I think. Oh, two star. I don't know what it was doing, but... Uh, size is 2,000 points. Two diamond stars. Awesome, you guys. And the Torterra. Let's see. Nice. A diamond Torterra shot. One star. This is not going to be a good picture of that Pidget. That's too bad. Yeah, not very high. Oh well. <laughs> it's a screw key. Ah, oh, it's too bad. So yeah, next time I do this, this level, I'll have to make sure to put the pointer on the screw key and the Pichu and the Torterra for all those different Pokemon. Still better than our last one by a long shot. So, uh, we'll see. I doubt this one comes out better. Oh, it did. It did. Nice. All right, it's a very cute picture. The duckle is so far away, so it's gonna be a low rating, but that's okay. This hoot hoot is gonna be good, I think. Nice, not quite diamond. It's because it's not quite centered. That's one thing that bothers me, is that the people in the Pokemon world, or at least Professor Mirror, evidently does not believe in the rule of thirds. Like to me, this is a really well composed photo. Uh, it's just, it's visually more interesting to have the hoot hoot slightly offset than to have him smack dab in the center. They keep talking about how, oh, you want it balanced, which requires you have the Pokemon right in the middle, but uh, any real photographer would tell you that that is not always desirable. I think this is better than if the Hutu was in the middle, but unfortunately we, we do have to play within the constraints of the scoring system. So still though, a, a vast improvement over our last one. All right, well, that was a pretty fruitful trip, wasn't it? Well, we hit level two. Oh, not quite. Looks like you've got the hang of nighttime research. Keep up the good work. Now, we didn't see any of the Illumina Pokemon, sadly. I think they might have to do with those Crystal Bloom flowers, but I'm not sure what we have to do with them. got a new research title as big as possible so these are like achievements basically you've got a score of 2,000 points or more in the size category I think that was for the pincer I think that was for the pincer and together with friends you got a score of 500 points or more in the other Pokemon category so that gives you points for having more than one Pokemon in the shot and we got a profile icon for a nighttime expedition. By the way, thanks to the progress you've made in your research, I've got something to report. I'll fill you in once your photos are squared away. I think you'll be pleased to hear this. All right. Uh, so I'm not, like, I guess if I don't choose to save these, they just, disappear except for the ones that we put in our decks but that's okay honestly because the ones that we put in our decks are the best ones I don't think there's any others that I really want to save anyhow so that's okay so I'll return to camp Music's really chill. Who 
Oh, what's this? Whoa. Hmm, that's intriguing. Hey, it's me. Something incredible has happened. Oh, it's all voiced. Here, take a look at this. This was the energy surge, I guess, at the last, at the end of the last level. I like the Audino walking around in the background. That's cute. And when you got near that field of flowers, I picked up an incredibly strong energy reading. Oh, look at the little dead end over on the right. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> also. It sort of seemed to be moving, if only slightly. Which suggests what we've got here is an Illumina Pokemon? We can't be sure yet, but I suspect so. I wonder why it showed up. Do you, did you do anything special? I'll get the little dead ends running along the, the railing up top there. No, I also doubt that it appeared when it did by chance. So I think you should be the one to investigate the area where that reading is coming from. Aw, oh, I want to go see too. You can watch through the monitor with me, Rita. All right. Please head out as soon as you're ready. Okay. Well, I'm very curious to go find out what that is, but I think maybe it's time that we wrap this up. Uh, I've uh, had a lot of fun here with a couple of little uh runs through the first level here we haven't even unlocked the second level yet but we did get the nighttime variant on the first level and uh honestly this is delightful this game is it's really just like you know i grew up with pokemon right and uh in pokemon snap the original one from 23 years ago or whatever it was um gave you a taste of this kind of thing where you get to see the Pokemon in their natural environment and see them behaving in ways that you just don't get to interact with them in the games like um but this is obviously taking it to the next level there's so many more Pokemon now uh the hardware is so much more capable this is I think the most beautiful we've seen the Pokemon world looking I'm loving the graphics so far I think these levels and these models uh, look a lot better than the mainstream games, honestly. Uh, like better than Pokemon Sword and Shield, so. Um, but yeah, as someone who like grew up with Pokemon and, and, uh, has always, you know, loved the games, although less so these days, because they feel very derivative and samey, this feels different. This feels fresh. And this feels like a really fun way to engage with Pokemon and the world of Pokemon. So I'm all about this. And if you guys would like to see more of this on the channel, please let me know down in the comments if you enjoyed this and if you want to see more of it. I think I might stream some of this on Twitch as well. I think this would be a really fun streaming game. So uh, if you would want to join us there, twitch.tv slash the ASMR nerd is the place to do that. Please come join us. Come, uh, come hang out with us. Um, a lot of amazing folks out there, very friendly people, and it's a really good time. So, uh, and one more thing before we go, a big thank you to this video's sponsor once again, Into the AM. They have the awesome shirts and other cool apparel as well with some fantastic graphic designs uh, that are both rad to look at and super duper comfortable if you're interested in checking their stuff out there's a link down in the video description where you can do that and using that link you will get 10 percent off of your order and some portion of your order will come back to support the channel um so i appreciate that very much um and of course do not forget if you want a chance to win an into the ham gift certificate that link is down in the video description as well. It doesn't cost you anything or take any time to enter. All we need is your name and your email. And then there's a few other ways that you can get extra entries by doing certain actions if you're interested. But 
that's totally optional. So, um, I wish you all the best of luck. Uh, please make sure you go do that ASAP if you want to enter. Uh, you have a week from the time this video is posted, but better do it sooner rather than later, right? So, um, and you too might be picking up some pretty sweet shirts like this. So, thank you all for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this. I certainly did. This was delightful. And I look forward to having you back here next time. Bye for now, my friends. <laughs>